A morning routine is so important. If you find yourself rushing around, you're forgetting things, you're running out the door late, Kristen, we are here for you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Well, this entrepreneur, author, and host of the Tranquility Du Jour podcast, Kimberly Wilson, is here to take us through our mornings and get them from frazzled to fabulous. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's a treat to be here. I know we're all always kind of running out, especially some of us that have to get up really early, yeah. um, but we want to find out the ways that we can kind of maybe stream that a little bit, right? So what, what do we, where do we start? What's one of the best things to start with to get our morning a little more calm. A little more calm. <laughs> it's critical. Okay. Yeah. So number one really is to prepare in advance as much as possible, right? You never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about mornings that I find really, really important is looking over the next morning, the night before, right? So you know mm -hmm. what's on your radar. Okay. I have to be really on first thing in the morning or, oh, I have a leisurely stroll in the morning. Mm -hmm. And that just can help too, to know, okay, this is what's on my plate in the morning. And then the second thing is to set out your outfit. I think for so many women, it's like, I have a closet full of clothes. And the data shows we wear about 20% of what is in our closet. So knowing what am I going to wear tomorrow without it having to be a stressful situation in the morning. I you feel know. like with that, because I, I don't know about you, I lay my stuff out the night before. I know in my head. But yeah. I feel like you'll start to wear more of that's in your closet. Because in the morning, you're so rushed, you're just grab, I know this grab the first just thing. grab the first thing. Right. Absolutely. And you know, one other thing to keep in mind is to have a uniform of sorts, you know, something, mm -hmm. right? Steve Jobs always had his turtleneck and his <laughs> jeans. But you know, yeah. the thing about a uniform is you don't have to overthink. And another thing that really the data shows with decision fatigue is that the more we have to think about things and use that muscle of decision making, it like exhausts us as the day goes on. So why spend the morning focused on what am I going to wear? Even though it's important, yeah. but you know, it's like, oh, these are my 10 go-to's that like always right. look great and I can swap them out with a scarf or you know something that just shifts the look. You feel good in it too. Yes. I know I did traffic around here for three years and you can run into problems every morning on the road. So one of your tips too was leave extra time and space. <laughs> How much extra time especially when we count in DC traffic around here? Right. Well what about you this morning? <laughs> oh my right? gosh. Accidents happen right? Accidents yeah. happen. Yes. So it, you, you always have to leave. How much time would you say you think? Well you know I think it depends on kind of where you live and how far your commute is, mm -hmm. right? But you know, one of the things I think is if you can at least give yourself 15 to 20 minutes more, it can help so that it's not like, oh my goodness, I have to get out the door. I can't find my keys. The dog's barking. The kids right. are crying. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, I can't get out because I don't even have my <laughs> keys to get in my car, right? So it's like that little extra space can just help so it doesn't feel so overwhelming of, getting somewhere frazzled when morning's really a great way if you can start it with a little more spaciousness. I think it just mm. makes such a difference. And one of your final tips too is create a morning routine. Yes. It's important. It's important. Yeah. So the thing about mornings also is, you know, how many of us, we wake up and we look at our phones. So we're yeah. initially, I mean, immediately put on somebody else's agenda. And so mm -hmm. what would it be like to use your morning, even if it's just 15 minutes of a routine? I'll give some ideas for that. But what would it be like to actually focus on input rather than output? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's I sit and I have my morning cup of tea or I read a book that's inspiring, you know, versus the news, which sometimes cannot be aspiring at times, right? And so it's like, what is it that I can input into myself? Just some stretching, some morning yoga that just will help set me up for success with the day ahead. I know you also brought mm -hmm. no, the, the green smoothie, the tea, yes. and also a green smoothie is a good way to start the day. I'm obsessed with green smoothies because I'm not much of a cook, and so we can all do this. Yeah, yeah. And it's like spinach, kale, um, some frozen fruit. I like mango from Trader Joe's, and then uh, hemp seeds. So you get lots of protein, mm. protein powder, and water. It's like who can't do that? And you yeah. can do that the night before and put it in the fridge. You can. You know, I tend to do it in the morning. It doesn't take much time, right. but you absolutely could, and really, you could make a big vat of. Of it and have it for the week, which is really right. nice. Right. Thank okay. you for helping. Uh, yeah. You got some tips, yep. Kristen. I got okay. some tips. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving that extra time, and I'm gonna set yeah. that morning routine. Thank you yeah. so much for, for yes, being here you. and helping us be a little less frazzled. Absolutely. Thanks for having it. me. We'll be back with more after this.